Most of the times your raw textual data will be stored in files in your computer and you will need to import them in R. This means that in order for you to be able to further process your text files in R Studio, you should first convert them into R objects, namely character vectors and strings, that R can understand and allow you to use functions for handling strings and character vectors, such as the ones you learned in the last couple of tutorials. In this short tutorial, you will learn to do that, namely to open and read text files into R objects. And to that end, I will use the three different options that R provides us, the read char, the read lines, and the read fi underscore file functions. So, first things first, let's take the text file lorem underscore ipsum dot txt that you will be importing in R that contains a big part of the lorem ipsum text. Here it is. I opened the text file with an editor called Sublime Text, but you could have opened it with any plain editor such as Notepad. For those not uh, familiar with the lorem ipsum text, this is a specific blind or dummy Latin-like text uh, used very often by the desktop publishing industry as replacement text for testing purposes. Essentially, the lorem ipsum text is there when the text content is not the issue at hand, as in our case. So, here we don't really care what the content of the text file would be. I already saved the text content of lorem ipsum to this file uh, in the folder YouTube within my home folder. For using the same text file to practice what you see in this tutorial, you can go to this link that I also added on the video description below, then copy the lorem ipsum text, open your favorite text editor and paste and save it as a txt file in a folder that you will set as your working directory in the way that I will show you right now. It is crucial to understand at this point that in order for R to open this text file, you need to show R exactly where the text file is placed within your machine's file system. Although we will prepare a separate video specifically on how R navigates through your file system via file paths, for now, keep in mind that you only need to set the folder where the text file lorem underscore ipsum .txt lives as your working directory. Briefly, the working directory is the folder whose files will be directly available to R. To do that, you go to one of the right panels that displays the file system of your machine. The panel that you see right now, placed on the top right, will probably be shown on the bottom right side of R Studio on your screen. But apart from the positioning of the panels, nothing else is different in my RStudio settings. So, you go to the folder that contains the text file that you would like to load in R. In my case, it is the YouTube folder in my home directory. And double click on it. Now, you simply go to the tab More, open it and select the Set as Working Directory. And from that moment on, every file that you will put in this folder will be available to R for reading it. There are three options for opening and reading raw texts in R. The first option is to use the read lines function that opens a text file and reads or converts its content into a character vector whose members are the distinct lines of the text. I saved the output to the variable called lorem.ipsum. The argument of read lines is the string with the name of the text file. That is why it is surrounded by quotes. As you can see, each member of the vector lorem.ipsum maps to a separate line of the original text. The end of a line in the original text file is marked with a new line character as you will see in a minute. The new line is the criterion for segmenting the original text and creating each member of the new character vector uh, lorem.ipsum. Also note that some members consist of the empty character. That means that there were some blank lines in the original text file. Until now in this series, you met some methods for handling character vectors, but you did not learn how to retrieve a specific member or a range of members of any character vector. You will learn how to do that in the next follow-up tutorial. For now, let's use the length function that you already saw uh, to find the number of lines in the text. As you can see, there are 10 lines. Recall that in the last tutorial, you saw how to use the str split 
function on a single string and then the length function to find the number of words in that string. The output of read lines though is a character vector and not a single string for which you could use str split to segment it into words. For reading a text file directly into a single string, uh, you could use the second option of using the readChar function. The readChar function takes two arguments, the first of which is the string with the name of the text file, and the second argument declares the number of bytes that should be read by R. For declaring the number of bytes, you can use the file.info function. You're not equipped yet to understand what goes, goes on in this chunk of code, but you will soon be able to do that. Let's have a look at the variable lorem.ipsum.string that stands for the content of the original text file. As you can see, the line borders of the original text file are marked with a new line character, signified with a backslash uh, followed by n. The text between the new line characters were separate lines in the original text. Now you could use the code demonstrated in the last video tutorial to segment the string into a character vector with words of the lorem ipsum text as its members using the str split function and the unlist function. Now you can ask for the size of the text in terms of words with the length function, which is uh, 543. The last option is to use the read underscore file function of the external package readr, which is available in CRAN. Recall that to install any external CRAN package, you use the install.packages function. If you need to brush up on R packages and on how to install one, go ahead and visit my earlier video on the subject. Apart from the card that you see right now on the top right side of this video, I will also add the YouTube link on the description below. After loading the package read R, you can use the read underscore file function that does exactly the same thing with the read char function. Namely, it reads and converts the text content uh, of the file into a single R string. The difference with readchar is that it only needs a single argument with the name of the text file and you don't have to add a second argument that specifies the suitable memory size to allocate. Of course, since you now have the whole text as a single string, again you can do exactly the same thing that I just did with uh, lorem.ipsum.string namely to segment the string stored in uh, lorem.ipsum.string.readr into a character vector who, with words of the lorem ipsum text as its members using the combination of str split and unlist. Lastly, as previously, you can get the text size in terms of words with the length function, which again is uh, 543. Wrapping up this tutorial, make sure you check out the code summary. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to also subscribe to the channel by pressing the relevant button on the video or on channel's homepage and then in order to get updates when new videos are released, uh, you need to activate the bell notification that stands on channel's homepage.